Hey there, just uh, posting another video here, just a quick one. So um, I get people asking me, hey, how do I know this actual uh, temp gauge is going to work when I get it in my cluster and somebody just didn't add a stepper motor and overlay? Um, well, you can test that, and that's something I do. I sell these to people after I put temp gauges in them, and I get asked this all the time. So I'll go ahead and turn them on. There you go. So I saw the motor move. All right, I'll go ahead and turn them off. There you go. So, you know, if, if this motor was not actually working, it feeds off of serial data from the uh, PCM or ECU. And if it's not sending the signal, because it's not programmed, this is not gonna move. The rest of them will just move. Um, maybe I should do a video down the road kind of demonstrating that by me simply adding a stepper motor here, uh, you know, and essentially simulating you know, doing the same test and then showing that this doesn't work. But this is basically how I can validate and I know before I send it out the door that this is going to work. And like I said, um, I get this asked constantly. Maybe it's just because I'm in Alaska and people just aren't used to somebody being able to program these. But um, this is a very common thing people do in the lower 48. Uh, you know, it's, it's something that's not that hard to do realistically if you have uh, the tools to do it and the know-how. But, um, yep, that's basically how I do it, and I can validate that it's working. So, um, if you guys are looking for a cluster that needs a trans temp, uh, just let me know. I can convert them to trans temp for you. Uh, just basically is it overlay an extra needle, you know, and that's about it. Uh, I add, obviously, a stepper motor for it to make it work, and then the programming. But, um, you know, it's not terribly expensive to convert your existing one to a trans temp model. All right, that's it for this one.